Welcome back to our second video, how to create a stunning WordPress theme with Divi 2.0. Uh, this time we're going to be looking at how to create an email feature box to grow your email list. So uh, let's get into it. Okay, so we're back on our page uh, you, with the Divi once again. Yeah, we've got some real basic stuff there like we saw before and nothing exciting. But what we have is a button here that says Use Page Builder. We're going to click on that and all of a sudden things change for us now. What we're going to do is we're actually, as you can see here, we've got like three sections. We've got basically a row and then we've got another box which allows you to insert some columns and then you can insert an element. So that might seem a little confusing to begin with, but we're going to go through it so you can understand each step. So we're going to start off just with the text, just so you get an introductory feel for how things work. Uh, as you can see, if I want to, I can add a row and I can, I can actually insert different types of columns, one full width column, or I can insert 50% uh, 50% columns and actually insert little modules into each one. We've got different things like text modules, image modules, subscription modules, etc., etc. Uh, we'll get into that later, but I will show you just quickly. You can see here, We've got modules. I can insert any one of these onto the page and get a really nifty little effect. Um, same over here, but um, we will get into that later. But we'll just start with this text module. So if I open that up, as you can see, our text color is dark, and we've got uh, yeah the same text we had on the page before, and obviously the text orientation is left. Uh, maybe I want to add an, a right aligned image, so I'll just quickly do that. Select files. Let's say I want to add in this picture here, open. So I can actually simply make that say right aligned, insert into page, save. We've got a bit of a funny, had a bit of a funny thing happen there, but it's all worked out in the end. Um, we can actually move that down and we're going to type in a heading, uh, just yeah, something slogany. Join the rebellion. We'll make that a title, just like uh, the same way you would in WordPress. You've got a few options there, but I simply just hit Control and One for header one, or Control Two for header two. Control One, header one, that sort of thing. So we're going to save that one. We're going to just uh, before we move on, we're going to add another section. So we're going to add a section here, and we're actually going to drag that above the text section because you can move these freely as you're working on them at any point. I can see, I can even move this one. As long as I add in a section here to take up the empty space, I can even move this up into that section there. I won't do that now, but just sort of showing you what is available to you. Um, and we have another full width section, so insert column. Actually, we'll go, we'll turn this into a bit of an email opt in. So we'll go, say, two thirds, or actually, we might even, we'll go, turn that off, add a section, move that to the top again. And we're going to add three quarters and one quarter. Okay. So I'm not going to play around with this too much just yet. I'll start off by uploading an image. Just a little background here. So this is how you can create a background for a particular section. Now uh, I will get into this settings and that in a minute. We'll just save that first. Update the page. And now we'll go back over here and we will refresh. As you can see, we've got our little image here. But we've got this first section here which has nothing in it yet. But you'll notice we've got that little image in the background there. And we're starting to, just starting to build a nice little page. So what we're going to do is, I've got a little image that I want to put in here. So I'm going to make an image, upload, upload, upload. And it's a PNG, transparent PNG, so that way uh, we have an image that sits above the background and is uh, seamlessly transparent, set as image. Now, I will do this only the first time, just so you can see it in this video, but this is where you can set your alt text and title text, which is really good for your search engine optimization. So we can call it uh, Karate Man, Karate Man. Uh, we don't want it to open in a light box. We don't want to give it a link. Uh, and we've got a little animation here. Let's say we're going to go from bottom to top. Move the space below the image. No. So we will backtrack to that. And this is for the people who are doing CSS. You can add IDs and classes to this. So we're going to save. And over here, we're going to insert a subscription module. Now you can choose MailChimp, Aweber. 
these have to be set up in your Divi settings under appearance. Uh, I don't think there's much benefit for me going through all that right now. It is pretty basic and straightforward. So for now, we're just going to set up feed burner, feed title, or we'll just call it fighters feed. Give another one. Uh, what have we got? Subscribe today. Button text. Sign me up. So this is the text that actually shows up on the subscription button. You can simply put enter, subscribe, or you can put a bit of personality, sign me up, that sort of thing. And we've got a background color. A text color is light because it will be going against a dark background and we want text orientation to be centered. And we're just going to save that. And we're going to update that page. Now you can see the section. We've added the image. We've added the subscri subscription model module. So we will refresh. And you'll see we've got a, a little bit of a, a feature box set up here. Uh, looks a little bit funny. We've got the image ending a little bit prematurely. We've got this background color. Maybe we don't want this that background color, but you can see we can enter an email, sign up, that sort of thing. So it's really easy to get started building a feature box. But um, let's take a look at some of the options so we can see what's available to us. Uh, we're going to go back into the image module. Now you may notice if I just refresh again, Watch this image here. It slides in. It's a nice little animation. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to try and remove the gap between the bottom of the man and the image down here. And uh, that way we can get things looking a little bit slicker. So what we're going to do is we're going to remove space at the bottom. Yes. Click Save. Actually, we'll go back in. I want to change that animation. So they're going from bottom to top. We're going to go left to right. Save. I'm going to change this box here. Um, I might even just change that to subscribe. I'd rather have it on one line just for cleanliness. And the background color here, the green, if we don't want that, we can simply turn the background color off. Save that. Now, before I actually go back, there's one more thing I want to show you, which is really cool. We're going to give the background image a bit of an effect. We're going to say... There's a parallax option here. We can turn on parallax scrolling. Now we've got true parallax or CSS. We're actually going to do another one later on with true parallax, but for now we'll stick with standard CSS, which will keep the background sitting in the same position while we scroll. So we're going to save that and update. We go back to our main page and refresh. Now you'll see the image meets the bottom of the of the side there and we still got our little subscribe box over to the right. Now this might look a little bit funny, maybe it's a bit too thin. Have no fear, you can simply add another row, add another column, and you can make it, instead of three quarters and a quarter, two thirds and a third, and we can just simply move those items down to here, and then delete that row, update, and head back. And when we refresh this page here, You see it's widened, everything's back in the place it should be. We've just given that a little bit of extra size. So as you can see, that's a pretty easy way to build a feature box for to build email subscribers uh, using the Divi theme. You've got this cool animation as we scroll. Like I said, we've got a, para, a CSS parallax background that stays in the one spot. So everything else moves over the top of it. And we've got this cool looking website with a nice little animation there. So, okay, what we're gonna do now is we've got, we've got a feature box at the top. A bit of a, an article, maybe you could use this to say welcome to your website or maybe you don't even want that much text on your on, on this page you're building. But we can simply move on to another section and show you just more or less some of the features that are available to you. So uh, let's have a look at some of those features now. So to learn a bit more about the Divi theme, we're going to keep going through the uh, modules available in our next two videos. Um, so check the links below if you want to explore those. Uh, also, if you want more info, we do have a full write-up on this at designwebidentity.com slash info, or you can go straight ahead to download the theme at designwebidentity.com slash divi. Uh, once again, this is an affiliate link, so I, if you do purchase, I do make commission, but uh, this is an awesome piece of software. I definitely recommend it. And I've been having a lot of fun with it since I bought it. Uh, thanks for watching.